Hey there, 1990, Silver Tongue and Hot Rod. She's a quick thinking, fast talking Silver Tongue, and he's just a hot rod. He doesn't ride a motorcycle. 1990, The Silver Tongue and Hot Rod. Check out Amy Osborne. That's Victoria Paris. We're doing a Victoria Paris series. I'm Jason from Barefoot. I will be in the front and the back of this here picture. Have you seen it before? You're about to see it. Directed by Henri Pichard. He's directed tons of good films. We've done a bunch. We've done Jailhouse Girls. We've done Matinee Idol. We did the whole taboo American style. All four parts of that. This one actually has some problems with it. Did I say that I'm Jason from Barefoot? I will be in the front and the back. I think I did. Oh yes, there is a few problems in this. Auto exposures on three different times in the film. I shouldn't, I don't even know if I, uh, see now it seems like I'm picking on him, but he should know better. He's a great filmmaker. So I blame the cameraman or the editor. The editor could have cut around it. It's in my version. I didn't cut around it either. So who am I? Amazing music. Music that they allow to breathe for a while with no sound effects over it. So I can pull a good portion of it. Let's see what happens. Shall we? The way I see it, I've got a lot in common with the Marine Corps. We're just looking for a few good men. <laughs> the Marine Corps must have got them all because I sure haven't ever met one. You take this name I'm telling now. Her name's Tony. They hook you in, bleed you dry till you don't have a nickel left for a cup of coffee. Make that a dollar. All they do is take, take, take. They want everything their own way. They want your time, your heart, your soul. But God forbid you should want a crumb in return. When her husband dumped her, she put the squeeze on his bank account. I mean, he's sick of paying outrageous alimony. That's why he came to me. I'm an expert in these cases. This jerk's driving me nuts. I can feel his eyes rolling all over my back. He's got the hots for me. Maybe that's good. It'll make my job a whole lot easier. Brown Eyes here left his ex-wife and refuses to pay child support. I know, because his ex-wife is my latest client. I go after guys like him. I get photos, tapes. I get the dirt and rub their noses in it. Yeah, her ex-husband's right. But how am I going to prove it? I've been tailing her for hours and no one's picked up on her yet. It's a rotten job, but I'll do anything to get the evidence. Okay, I'll beat him at his own game. I'll play the part, let him explain that in court. Okay, Buster, I'm gonna take you on, but I'm only doing it for your kids. <laughs> what a sleaze. This is gonna be a piece of cake. That son of a... <laughs> We decided to leave our jobs and form an agency of our own. But instead of getting dirty divorce evidence, we would try to prevent divorce before it happened. We would investigate potential spouses, probing their past and present lifestyles and finances. This way, we had a 50-50 chance of bringing back good news to our clients. And if the news turned out to be bad, at least our clients would know it before they made the big mistake. It felt good to us. It felt very good indeed. Well, I really think we'd be interested. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hot Rod, I'd like you to meet uh, the gentleman that called this morning. Uh, this is Joseph Hecker from the law firm of Cox, Peck and Hecker. This is my... Partner, Hot Rod, darling, you didn't have to dress for the occasion. <clears throat> Do you represent? Daniel Bannister. The Daniel Bannister. Yes, the Daniel Bannister. <clears throat> As uh, both of you are well aware, my client is an extremely wealthy man. And, uh, and he has, once again, gotten engaged. 
Don't tell me. You want us to check out the new fiance and see if she's after his money. Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm sure that she's a fine, upstanding young woman. Excuse me. If she's such a fine, upstanding young woman, why are you coming to us? He has had four marriages with four very fine young ladies. Well, each time when his wife finds out what a degenerate he is, yeah. ends in divorce. And each time he feels compelled to make a substantial divorce settlement to assuage his guilt. I still don't get it. I'm missing something now. Where do we come in at? What I need you to do for me is to get the goods on my client. Photos, audio cassettes, anything. Then I want you to take that evidence and present it to his present fiance. In other words, you want us to break up the marriage before it gets a chance to start. No. What I wish to do is to prevent another healthy divorce settlement. Oh, trust me, my client will be well served in this. Where do we find him? I, uh, believe I have everything here that you'll need. Great. It didn't take me long to get what I needed. I got it the first time out. You did great. Yeah. I couldn't have imagined anything more. Thanks. Uh, Who do they get delivered to? Well, I've never met the young lady, but I'm sure she's very nice. This is her name and address. So, uh, which one of you will deliver the evidence? I will. It may sound less cruel coming from another woman. Her name was Amy Osborne, and as it turned out, she was wealthy in her own right, heir to a department store fortune. let me in and asked me what I wanted. When I told her I was a private investigator, she asked me to wait while she went to get Miss Osborne. You wanted to see me? Uh, I'm not sure. Are you Amy Osborne? Yeah. Aren't you engaged to Daniel Bannister? Well, yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> there's been a mistake. I'm terribly embarrassed. I'm sorry, really, I don't know what to say. Do you mind telling me what this is all about? <sighs> Are you... Well, does the name Joseph Hecker mean anything to you? Well, yeah, he's Daniel's attorney, why? Well, he's concerned about your upcoming marriage to Mr. Bannister, and quite frankly, he thinks that his client is jaded. Amy Osborne was my kind of woman. Solid. Real connected to the earth. Case closed, on to the next. I wondered how long it would take for us to get another client. But I was pleasantly surprised. There seemed to be quite a market for this new type of service. A call came in the very next day. Her name was Bernadette Hillary. 12, 13. This is just a down payment. There's plenty more where it came from. You're, uh, quite wealthy. Quite doesn't even come close. I live modestly because I don't want to attract men who are interested in only my money. You, uh, you said you were engaged? Yes. And I want to make sure that my fiancé is as rich as he says he is. 
I want financial statements, account disclosures, the usual nonsense. Who is he? Brad Turner. He owns Starlight Publications, among other things. Hmm. All there. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Uh, I'll get right on them. Good. I'll show you the door. Thank you. Oh, Brad, it's, it's beautiful. It's a small token of my affection, sweetheart. After we're married, I'll serve you up jewels with every meal. I'll lay the world at your feet. Anything you want, anytime. Oh, Brad, all I want is you. A love like ours is once in a lifetime. Once in many lifetimes. And Gemini and Pisces, we're a perfect match. You with your grand trine, and me with my part of fortune. Oh, darling, we're going to be late for the ballet. Let's not go. Let's do our own dance. Dance of love. Oh, Brad, you paid a scalper a fortune for those tickets. It's only money. He's broke. Ew. Brad Turner. This thing's Starfire Publications. They do astrological forecasts for the terminally ill. Are you kidding? He's behind this rent. His car's been repossessed. He's working two jobs, pouring every cent the poor guy has got into courting Bernadette Hillary. This stinks, Rod. He's after her money. Oh, no, he doesn't know she has any money. <laughs> no, he doesn't know she... Well, okay. Why is he... Why, why is he... Doesn't he doesn't know... No, he doesn't know she has any money. Oh, no? Well, then why is he dumping his whole life savings into to marrying her? He's in love with her. <laughs> Don't what do you mean? It's me true. Sick. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Now, somebody's got to tell Bernard that Peter's the bad news. Well, I guess it's going to be you. Miss Hillary, the answer is a dead beat. Miss Hillary, Miss Hillary, you sure know how to fix it. Okay, I got good news, I got bad news. Listen, she knows something. Uh, He is worth $50 million. He, he's a sniveling, simpering idiot, and I'm just not going to marry him. <sighs> Honey, you are going to marry Brad Turner just as we planned. And then next year, there'll be a multi-million dollar settlement. And then after that, it's Tahiti, here we come. But, honey... How can I marry him when I love you? You're going to marry him because you love me. We couldn't believe it. Bernadette Hillary. It only goes to show you. Never trust a woman with two first names. I felt sorry for Brad Turner. He was a really nice guy. <laughs> I've been trying to reach Amy Osborne, but her phone was disconnected, so I stopped by to see if she wanted to do dinner with me. Amy's gone. For good. Her and Mr. Bannister went away to their island, and she's never coming back. I'm her friend, Kitty. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. They left me alone in this big house. I mean, my God, they gave me this house. They gave you this house? <laughs> Why are you crying? Because I miss them. I'm so alone. 
Hey, how would you like to meet a really nice guy? You know what I love about you? What? <laughs> you really like women. You see us for what we really are, and you like us. You appreciate the best of us. Well, I guess we're perfect for each other, huh? I guess we are. A lot of plot. A lot of plot. Tons of scheming. And the opening scene, you know what cross-cutting is. Well, this is kind of cross-cutting. Their voiceovers are cross-cutting. They are in the same scene, sometimes in the same shot. One's following the other, and the other one's following the other. Tricky. There's some tricky stuff in this here picture. But those two private eyes, Silver Tongue and Hot Rod, they join forces. Henri Pichard. Next week, we'll be back with more Victoria Paris. A larger part for her as well. Much love. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you next week.